I will try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself with the strength you gave me. And I will try to lead our people as you led them. You stood against the darkness and were an example to us all. Your courage lives on in the hearts of every Auroran. I hope I will not disappoint you. Your ever-loving daughter, Kaylin. wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. But no one is truly safe anymore. I watched through a creatures in here. Well, we drank away small failures from the time we had tended and we never yeah, it's a calling sit bring her the two brother but take delighting me he decided to slay at one with me You who sit as at night, we have not much eyeless. But for long, you have come to what? Ever to be hiding? I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may make their memorials if you wish. There are many else. Wherever a mem allow itself to live. My wife daughter. You at which dwells in darkness and is love. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over me since then. And Bale, he thought No better place for our city. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed in my dream. Stay with me, always. Oh, but as I was the first, who was the his name? King of seems your secret. She's all the about for he tissed the he soldiers can aside five to up promise an arm and save us from the crawler for him again. Logan did not enough. I are what would not and has told your ocean. We are to survive. You must make to Aurora a true of your colony thing place. Will you make this promise? You have survived. Alien Elon, you're ready to face your best time to the gap.
Please retreat. What a... Exactly, find the upping about his own left. Find everything the king need. Oh, come on, it's time to rule for battle. No, maybe I'll just. Right, more group of soldiers down this route and blow up the west barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh. Now you're just picking holes. Okay, boy. What else? What to do? Future. The city will full of. I don't want to. Daily mates. The map tells. We'll teach. Beg to have. Bloody jam. I walk off. And the. And the. If the west is Actually, less chance of. We'll use this water. Out me. If I You can't punch into a good old. Little morale. Eat on. Here. Lost one. Come on.
This gate. Always with the damn gates. What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Did you see that order that the whole city bowed to our under? Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Boulder. There's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You finally become the man I always wanted you to be. He's a lot more than that. And now he's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader. Just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cowl behind ignorance if you will, but my brother deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then.
There he is. The King of Albion. You've made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier, though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial? Of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful king is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. Stand to attention for the King of Albion. Logan, former King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed. Like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death. Children forced to work. But killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate. But his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise. And I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. 
Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. This is true. If it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, brother. Now choose. This is not an easy decision to make. Take all the time you need. This is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The King has made his decision. Logan's life will be spared. I know you will never forgive me for the things I've done. You told me so once, remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. I'm glad to be rid of him. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are king. You can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth, but you may also choose to break those promises to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it.
Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. Having Logan's troops on our side is a good start. But you will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. If you will follow me, Your Majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. This is it, Albion's royal treasury, the store of the kingdom's total wealth. It's, well, not as um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold, a topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way, Raise the taxes even further. True, many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room. What will it be, Your Majesty? Very well, Your Majesty. A prudent choice. Why upset the status quo? The time for revolution has passed, and people are used to the current rate of poverty and starvation. Those who survive will thank you in the end. But you will still need to raise a lot more gold by other means. Unless you're willing to donate some of your own money to the treasury. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I do like a little joke now and then. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the Royal Ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time! You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Reaver has a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reaver can, I assure you. I have seen to it that your appearance among the populace is well publicized, so expect a crowd. Don't tempt me, Weaver. Oh, happy day! His Majesty, the King of Albion, graces us with his radiant presence. 
I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth. But my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reva Industries will abide by your decision. The factory will become a school. Thank you. We can really start changing people's lives now. This will be an Albion worth fighting for. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. Welcome to Reva Industries Learning Center. Bowerstone Industrial's first ever school. You can now feel secure in the knowledge that your children can become the well-educated automatons you always wanted them to be. like to give special discounts to special customers. That's silly. Pigs aren't made out of iron. I know. It we ate king. one yesterday. Greetings, my lord. Business is booming. I hope it can stay like this for a long time. Well, hello there. 
I could use your help, you know, cleaning up the streets. I'm ashamed to admit it, but we've had a rash of jailbreaks, and not enough men on duty to track the criminals down. If you could help us out, I'd pay you for your time. Just find them and drag them back here. No doubt they'll put up a fuss, but you can handle it, I'm sure. Thanks. Bring him in and I'll lock him up. Three cheers! Hooray! My lord. Hooray! Ah. Greetings, my lord. Yes! Yes! Gah! Okay, you got me, bugger. Lead the way then. Ah, oh, it's the great ruler. Hello. Welcome, King. Ugh, you some kind of do-gooder, is that it? Or are you doing it for the money? No different than me, then, are you? I'm doing it for the money, too. And her name is Dolly. Oi, come on now. Let's be reasonable. Aha! It's the famous Filcher. Looks like your filching days are over, son. Back inside for you. You're a real servant of the people. Please, take this for your help. Hello, Your Majesty. Wahey! We have the finest product in Albion. I buy stuff. So come here and uh, I'll buy your stuff, okay? That one's ready. Business is pretty good, but I'm sure you can help to make it even better. That'll do. Your Majesty, we're all so pleased you're our new ruler. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. That's a good one. No better shopping at all Bowerstone. You're doing a good job. Not the best, but it's okay. The modern hero uses guns. Always look out for sales. Try to be more careful next time. That's a fine blade. Guns, guns, guns. Nice bit of forging. Nice bit of forging. <laughs> it's a bit crooked. Every 
every weapons enthusiast will find something... You're doing a good job. You have a very good heart. Walked into the pawnbrokers the other day and he said, Back already? That Perfect blade, that. Nice blade. One blade done. Weapons of all sizes. Rediscover your youth with my paint. That'll do. We've sold swords to all the greatest. Great hammer work there. Ooh, that's a good one. That'll fetch a good price. The town's doing so well, I just had to put... Nice blade! Try to be more careful next time. Need a weapon? Just make Get it fun. here! Looking for something special, or will it just be the regular stuff today? Champion! Thanks. Business is booming. I hope we can stay like this for a long time. Our stones, of finest you. items. Come on, you can give me a better price. Yes. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> it's our mighty king. Hello. Thank you for your case. If you can find better prices anywhere, then I hope I can make a be surprised and shop there instead. Happy to be of service. It would be great to talk about. Right. <laughs> 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 Who big slap? Got too much Power gear? Stones Sell it to me. Items. I'll be your true pal if you give me a hand. Do us a favor and get something for me, will you? Closing time for shop. You'll go fetch it. Well, that's great. Cheers. Isn't that cute? <laughs>
I cannot tell you what joy it brings me to see you crowned king at last. I served proudly under your father when he sat on the throne, and I will continue to serve you to the best of my abilities. But becoming a ruler does not mean you cease to be a hero. That is why I shall remain in the sanctuary. It is where I belong, after all. And with this new, terrible threat approaching, you will no doubt find the sanctuary as valuable as your castle. I'm afraid your property was irreparably damaged during the battle. The sanctuary shop has some new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not have a look? Reminders of how you got where you are, they carry a certain gravitas, don't they? Welcome. Welcome to the sanctuary.
Stalls now open. There's quite a shortage in town. You mm. wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the? What the? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. You're a dancing loon. Something special, no, or will please. it just be the don't regular stuff today? Don't hurt me, your highness. I don't know what I did. No, please, don't hurt me, your highness. I don't know what I did. Always happy Sir. to help. How long do you have to practice with that? Ah. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh, huh. what great gloves. Where'd you get them? service. Oh, well. At your orders, sir. It's our mighty. His Majesty, the King of Albion. Today, you will decide what is to be done with the Bowerstone Old Quarter, site of the Battle for Albion. Paige will offer her proposal. Reva shall stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, our victory came at a great cost to the city. You vowed to fight poverty, but our actions have made the problem worse. You must act now. I ask that the old quarter be rebuilt and its former residents rehomed. You wouldn't just be helping those in great need. You'd be sending a message to your people. They're scared, Your Majesty. Let them know they can count on you. Your Majesty, the old quarter was indeed devastated by your glorious triumph. But as its name subtly implies, it was old. The cost of rebuilding the area would be a colossal waste of money, and the people who called its decrepit shambles of streets and houses their home are better off without it. Besides, one must question what they have to offer our society. Why build homes for the inept and the unskilled? I recommend you reject Paige's proposal and keep the money for more deserving endeavors. It was our actions that caused the devastation, Your Majesty. But the final decision rests with you. We destroyed the old quarter. It's only right we rebuild it. The King has reached his decision. 
The old quarter shall be rebuilt, and its former residents will have their homes returned. Thank you, Your Majesty. This will be a very popular move. <sighs> I suppose there may be something to be gained by rebuilding part of the city. It shows our sense of industry has not yet been dampened. Very well, Your Majesty. Despite the current climate of fear and great national need, Riva Industries has once again struck a blow for the honest man on the street. The sad sight of the decayed and war-torn old quarter is no more. We are proud to present the new old quarter. It breaks one's heart to see the treasury so empty. If we don't do something about it, we will all die. And I have some very definitive retirement plans. As a matter of fact, our very first order of business might have a bearing on our financial situation. The time has come to decide the annual town guard budget. As you can imagine, the people like to complain about crime and the lack of... Indeed, Your Majesty. Why make any changes in such an innocuous matter? So people don't feel safe. Is that such a terrible thing? Let us now turn our attention to the rest of today's business. Here is the royal schedule I have prepared. As you can see, you have a busy day in the court, but a tremendously enjoyable one. Decoration is a passion of mine, and I simply cannot wait to see your choice. The interior designers await you in the throne room. I'm a long-time subscriber to Castle Design Weekly, and I believe the editor is one of the people waiting for you. I must get her autograph. At your command. Greetings, Your Majesty. My King? Everything all right, Your Majesty. My Lord? Attention, ah, Your Majesty. Hello. Long live the King! Hail to thee, beloved Majesty. Need a ring? Fancy a necklace? You've and got see some me. of the best clothes I've seen in a long while. Hi, big shot. Sir. Come on. My <laughs> 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 Keep. 
Any We're special on deals on offer so today? I'll give you a bit of... Come back if you have anything else to sell. Hello, great lord. <laughs> At your orders. Greetings, my lord. Looking for a gift? Uh, Majesty. Yippee! Greetings, my lord. Reva rules! Reva rocks! Oh, I love Reva's smelly socks! I just love Reva. I adore him. He's just so great. So, oh, you know, just so, so scrummy and hot. I've got a great Reva collection. Handkerchiefs, signed books, one of his beards, uh, a hat, a pair of trousers, even a photograph, though it is a bit bloodstained. Anyway, I've got loads of Reva stuff, except one thing. One special, special thing. His underpants. I know, I know it sounds weird, but I really want a pair of his undies. And they can't be too fresh either. Best place to look is in his old mansion, where he used to live. Apparently, there was a secret room or something. Off his bedroom. His pleasure chamber, apparently. <laughs> Might have left a pair there. I tried getting in there once myself, but I'm not allowed to go within a hundred yards of that mansion ever since... Well, I can't go there anyway. Really? You'll try to get a pair of his undies? <laughs> I can't believe it! That's great!
disposal of a truly great ruler. Nothing to report, Your Majesty. Throne's gonna be cold tomorrow. your command. At your orders, sir. Your Majesty, please accept this gift from a grateful subject. Salutations, mighty prince. I'm not genuinely one to engage in naked, transparent performance. But I must say, Your Majesty, you are quite wonderful. 
to happiness in my well, show. Well, of course, we're expensive. Hello, your majesty. Yay. The wealth of this town Yay. has gone through the roof. Oh, your majesty. Huh? Hello, my lord. Feel free to browse, and buy, feel even freer to buy, happy to be of service. It's for you, Your Majesty. Nice to see Hi there. You, Your How can I help? Always a joy Cheers. to see you, Your Royal Grandness. <laughs> Hope I you enjoy it. The old Sir, it's so... This, this is for you, well, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Old, I suppose. Yay! Yay! Well, Mighty well, one. I did. Please People are very pleased risky. with you, Your Majesty. Sir, I thought right, you could use a bit of moral Majesty. support. My Lord. Your majesty. You, your majesty, may I present you with this? I really like the way you look. If you I'm can find business. better prices oh, anywhere... Making a name for yourself, are you? So everyone knows who you are. An admirable goal. Me? No one knows who I am right now. 
but soon I'll be widely known as the man with the world's largest Thomas Cadkin collection. I've been buying his paintings for years. They're cheap as chips because he's just a run-of-the-mill struggling artist. But what if he was suddenly famous? Then his paintings would be worth a fortune. And what better way for an artist to become famous than to meet an unfortunate end? Understand where I'm going with this? But let's talk about something else. It's so annoying. These are the rainy days you're supposed to say for. If only I had. There are new items available in the sanctuary shop. That appears to be all of the gifts. You there. I hear you know how to use those weapons of yours. Well, I've got someone for you to use them on. You there. I hear you know how to use those weapons of yours. Well, I've got someone for you to use them on. Bloke by the name of Alan. He robbed me, he did. Took almost a thousand gold. It is true, we were gambling, and technically he did win. And theoretically, it was fair. And actually, you shouldn't just have anyone who annoys you killed. But all that aside, my mind's made up. You're looking like a million golds today, Your Majesty. Yay! What's it to be, then? What's it to be, then? Great. Alan's probably in Bowerstone Industrial, trying to get a game going with someone. Go make sure he doesn't succeed. Ever. Hello. Greetings, my liege. Your Majesty.
Cedric will get back on his feet, and when he does, I'll knock him off him again. <laughs> Definitely feeling lucky today. If I give you this, will you do something for me? There's got to be someone around here who wants to lose some money. There you are. You're Definitely feeling lucky today. Good day. Smog everywhere, I can hardly breathe. <laughs> ah, it's our mighty king. Hello. Oh! Give me a bit of a fright there. Hello. My lord. I can't believe this. I just can't believe it. Last Saturday should have been the greatest day of my life. I took my fiance, Sonia, to the most romantic place I could think of, and I pulled out the ring I'd spent my life savings on. The last rays of sun struck that diamond, and a thousand miniature stars exploded and danced across her flawless face. And then I dropped it down the sewer. It's gone! Okay, got to keep it together. Got to have faith. Can I put my faith in you? Could you go down into the sewers and fish it out for me? Brilliant! I'm saved! Now, in the interest of full disclosure, the sewers are said to be quite dangerous. Which is why I'm not down there myself. La, la, la. I do love having a leader. Greetings, my liege.
Throne's gonna be cold tomorrow. <laughs> You got it! I never thought in a million years you'd find it! That was truly divine intervention. It really was. Although, that would mean that my dropping it in the first place was divine intervention too, right? I can't credit only the good stuff. And that would mean it was divine intervention that gave me an ulcer, and almost cost me the woman I love, and kept me from getting any sleep this week! In a universe that's at best apathetic and at worst actively sadistic, what possible point can there be in getting married? I hope I kept the receipt for this.
there, darling. Awaiting your command, my lord. Your Majesty. Greetings. Who's a beautiful dog? <laughs> Welcome to the sanctuary. That appears to be all of the gifts.